This video is based on a new metaheuristic algorithm named as artificial hummingbird algorithm. In this video, we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about, how it is breaking, various steps used in this algorithm, mathematical models to update agent's position in the search space, algorithm flowchart, algorithm comparison with other metaheuristics, and different applications. First of all, as you can see here, artificial hummingbird algorithm is introduced in 2021. It is a bio-inspired, population-based metaheuristic algorithm that is basically inspired by the hummingbird's intelligent behavior in nature. This algorithm simulates the hummingbird's flight skills and food forcing behavior in nature. So as this algorithm is inspired by the hummingbird's behavior, so first we will try to understand hummingbird's behavior so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working. There are more than 361 species of hummingbirds. That is the second largest family of birds. Hummingbirds smallest species is about 5 centimeters and largest species about 23 centimeters. Hummingbird brain is 42% of its body weight. Hummingbirds have good color vision and they are attracted to bright colors like red, orange. They have no sense of smell but they can hear better than human. Hummingbirds have excellent flight skills than any other birds. They are able to fly not only forward but also backward. Here you can see hummingbirds can fly up, down, sideways, back and front. Hummingbird average lifespan is five years and they have tiny legs. They cannot walk or jump and they can fly 20 to 30 miles per hour. Next you can see here hummingbirds diet. Hummingbirds like juicy fruits and they also drink nectar found in flower by moving their tongue in and out. Hummingbirds also eat insects to add proteins and minerals to their diet and they are known for drinking nectar out of flowers. So as this algorithm is inspired by the hummingbirds flight skills and forcing strategies. Now you can see here different flight skills used by hummingbirds. Hummingbirds have unique flight skills. They can move forward, backward, up, down, and sideways. Hummingbird's intelligent flight skills are simulated in artificial hummingbird algorithm. Next, you can see here the main components used in this algorithm. First, hummingbirds. Second, food sources. Third, visit table. In real life, hummingbirds have great memory. They can remember every flower and they can also remember how long it will take to refill a flower. Hummingbirds can remember how long each food source is not visited by itself. In artificial hummingbird algorithm, for simplicity, it is assumed that each hummingbird is always assigned to a specific food source from which it can be fed. And for simplicity, we will consider this hummingbird and food source have same position. So we have the same position for the hummingbird and food sources. Next component you can see here, food sources. In real life, hummingbirds evaluate the food source properties, nectar quality, nectar refilling rate, last time visited the flower and the flower content. For simplicity, it is assumed that each food source has same number and identical type of flowers. So here we will consider the good source that is the solution and the nectar refilling rate of the food source is represented by the fitness value that we will calculate for the food sources. And again I'm repeating, we will consider the hummingbird 
and food source have same position and next you can see here we have identical food sources and we will consider the good source as the solution vector and nectar refilling rate of the food source is represented by the fitness value that we will calculate for each food source and third one we have the visit table here visit table is used to record the visit level for each food source for different hummingbirds to obtain more nectar hummingbirds tends to visit the food sources with the highest nectar refilling rate so visit table is used here to denote the amount of time since the hummingbird last visited the food source and we will update the visit table in each iteration and each hummingbird can find its target food source by visit table next you can see here different foraging strategies used by hummingbirds guided foraging territorial foraging and migration foraging so we have different food foraging strategies used by hummingbirds for their survival so you can see here this is the guided foraging territorial foraging and migration foraging in artificial hummingbird algorithm three different mathematical models are used to update agent's position in the search space so here you can see different flight skills used by hummingbirds axial flight diagonal flight and omnidirectional flight next you can see here different steps used in artificial hummingbird algorithm first we will initialize the important parameters used in this algorithm next we will initialize the population randomly in the search space and using this equation we can initialize the population for n agents in the search space randomly here lower bound and upper bound that is the search space boundary and rand is here normally distributed random value within the range 0 and 1 so using this equation we can initialize the position for each agent in the search space randomly and here i denote the total number of search agents next you can see here so once the population is initialized randomly in the search space we will calculate the fitness value for each hummingbird and here we will use any fitness function that is also known as objective function evaluation function cost function so using any fitness function we can calculate the fitness values for each hummingbird in the current population next step you can see here initialize the visit table for food sources so as in the real life hummingbirds can remember food sources location and other details so here we are using the visit table using visit table each hummingbird can find its target food source and we can denote the amount of time since the hummingbird last visited the food source so we will initialize the visit table for the food sources using this equation next step you can see here hummingbirds flight skills calculation now we have different flight skills performed by hummingbirds in real life next we will calculate the flight skills for the hummingbirds as in the real life they perform different flight skills axial diagonal and omnidirectional so here we will perform we will check this condition and if this condition is true perform axial flight else perform diagonal flight else we will perform the omnidirectional flight so first you can see here axial flight here hummingbird can fly in any coordinate axis so here this hummingbird can fly in any coordinate axis in the axial flight and we can calculate the axial flight using this equation here using this we can generate the random integers from 1 to d and next you can see here the diagonal flight so here hummingbirds are able to fly from one corner of rectangle to other and we can calculate the diagonal flight using this equation here we are using this to create random permutation of numbers from 1 to k 
And here R1 is the random number. Next, we have the omnidirectional flight. In omnidirectional flight, any flight direction can be projected to each of the three coordinate axes. All birds used omnidirectional flight, but only hummingbirds can perform axial and diagonal flight. So after flight skills calculation, we will update the hummingbird's position in the search space. So here you can see we have different foraging strategies used by hummingbirds, guided, territorial, and migration foraging. So here we will check this condition. Land is here and a random value between 0 and 1. And we will check this condition. If this condition is true, we will perform the guided forging, else territorial forging. And for migration forging, you can see here, we will check this condition. So how we can calculate the guided forging for the hummingbirds? Guided forging is used by hummingbirds to identify the food sources with the highest visit level. Now for all hummingbirds, how we can perform the guided forging? Using this equation, we can calculate the guided forcing behavior for the hummingbirds here this is the here this is the candidate food source and this is the food source position that is the ith food source position at an iteration t and here this is the target food source position at iteration t and this is the new position so using this equation we can calculate the guided forcing behavior and we'll perform the guided forcing using this equation. Next, we will update the busy table and here we will compare the candidate solution with the ith food source and we will update the busy table. Next, we have the territorial forcing. So here, using this equation, we can perform the territorial forcing. Here we will perform the hummingbird local food forcing behavior. And here, B is the territorial factor. And this is the ith food source. And here, this is the target food source. So we'll perform the territorial forcing and then update the visit table. Next, we have the migration forcing. And we can calculate the migration forcing using this equation. Due to lack of food sources in particular place, hummingbirds migrate. And you can see here, using this equation, we can calculate the migration forcing of the hummingbirds from the burst nectar repelling rate to new one that is produced randomly. You can see here R, that is the random number. So here we will perform the migration forcing and then update the visit table. So this is the flowchart for artificial hummingbird algorithm. So first we will initialize the parameters used in this algorithm. Then we will initialize the population randomly in the search space. After that, using any fitness function, we will calculate the fitness values for each hummingbird in the current population and then we will rank the solution and find out the best among all and then we will calculate the different flight skills for the hummingbirds and here at each iteration there is a probability of 50 percent to perform the guided forcing and 50 percent to perform the territorial forcing and next we will update the position using the migration forcing and here after that we will calculate the fitness values for the new solution that we calculated and then we will check the stopping criteria if the stopping criteria is met then display the optimal solution else we will repeat this loop from here until the stopping criteria is met and here you can see artificial hummingbird algorithm is compared with 11 different metaheuristic algorithms, cuckoo search, whale algorithm, teaching learning based optimization algorithm, 
पार्टिकल स्वॉम ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एल्गोरिदम एस एसओ ग्रे वोल्फ डॉल्फिन बटरफ्लाई आर्टिफिशियल बी कॉलनी ग्रेविटेशनल सर्च एंड हियर कैन सी द कंपेरिजन इज डन सो फॉर कंपेरिजन 11 डिफरेंट मेटाहिस्टिक एल्गोरिदम्स आर यूज्ड एंड आर्टिफिशियल हमिंग वर्ड एल्गोरिदम परफॉर्म्स बेटर एज कंपेरिजन विद डिफरेंट मेटाहिस्टिक एल्गोरिदम्स एंड दिस एल्गोरिदम इज आल्सो टेस्टेड ऑन 50 डिफरेंट स्टैंडर्ड बेंचमार्क टेस्ट फंक्शंस इंक्लूडिंग यूनिमॉडल मल्टीमॉडल एंड फिक्स डायमेंशनल and here you can see and you can see here this algorithm is also tested on seven different real life problems and it provide better results and three different mathematical models are used in this algorithm and here the convergence rate is good and the solution quality is also good so you can see here different steps Now you can see the different steps used in this algorithm. So first we will initialize the algorithm parameters, then initialize algorithm population randomly in the search space using this equation. After that we will calculate the fitness value for each hummingbird, and then we will update the visit table for the hummingbirds. After that we will calculate the flight skills. and then update the hummingbird's position in the search space and after that we will evaluate the new position and here we will use the fitness function for evaluation and after that we will check the stopping criteria if the stopping criteria is met then stop and display the best solution else repeat the loop else repeat the loop until the stopping criteria is not met so that's all about this algorithm if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video